My name is Julie Goodman. I'm an occupational therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist. Alright, and uh, how do you get certified to be a lymphedema therapist? You have to be an occupational therapist, a nurse, a physician, a physical therapist, an OT assistant, or a physical therapy assistant, or a massage therapist first. And then you have to go to uh, the Lymphedema Academy. Yeah and it's a two-week program. It's 135 hours of training and it's a two-week straight um, and it's coursework and uh, hands-on clinic. Okay, work. do you know how much it costs or does it? Uh, it's $5,000. It's $2,500 for the course and then two weeks worth of hotel um, lodging and then your food and airfare because I had to go to Boca Raton, Florida. Do you see like you getting that? Does it kind of add to your salary a little bit? Or? It helps, it does, and it kind of opens up uh, different areas that you can work in. I was able to work in an outpatient clinic uh, that only treats lymphedema. Um, it's called CARES. They're in, uh, started in Mobile, Alabama, and uh, there was a huge demand at the hospital, and they decided to go private because they wanted to treat the whole patient instead of just uh, the swelling. They wanted to do the garment fittings, they wanted to do the therapy, the compression fittings, the bandaging, everything. Would you say that there's a demand for lymphedema therapists? Yes, or? there's uh, probably six, maybe seven lymphedema therapists in Mobile, Baldwin County area. Do you feel like what you do for these patients helps? Oh, absolutely. I treated a patient today, actually, uh, that had a wound uh, that was about 50 cent size. I started wrapping her on Wednesday with the bandages. Uh, unwrapped her today, 48 hours later, and it was the thumbnail size. What the therapy consists of is, uh, it's called complete decongestive therapy. And it includes bandaging the legs with short stretch bandages, which I'll show in a second. Um, and it also entails a manual lymphatic drainage technique, which is one of the techniques that they teach at the academy. It's a, a type of a massage. It's not, you shouldn't really call it a massage because it's very superficial. It's very, um, um, it, there's a specific sequence to it. That's why you have to be certified. The short stretch bandages are very little. They work when you work, they rest when you rest, and they actually start, um, they stay at the size that you wrap them. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks a lot.